Hi guys, it's Valentine's Day. You wanna surprise your wife or your girlfriend and take her out for dinner? No need to. I'm gonna show you how to make nice and delicious dinner at home. You're gonna be making some steak. And on the side, you're gonna have some roasted potatoes with sour cream and a little bit of the chives. First, you have to prepare your potatoes. You have to clean them up and wipe them with some paper towels. When the potatoes are clean, just poke them like five to six times. You have to mix the water and the salt and just dip the potatoes in it. When they're all coated, just put them to the preheated oven. You're gonna be baking potatoes like 45 minutes, then take them out. Brush them with some oil and put them back in for another 10 to 15 minutes. Depends on the size of the potato. In between, you have to make the toppings for your potatoes. Just mix a little bit of the sour cream and the chives and that's it. You can also add some lemon zest, but that's where it left the taste. Before doing anything with the steak, just let them rest for 10 to 15 minutes. It has to come out to the room temperature. Otherwise, it's gonna be cooked uneven and it won't have nice crust. Then you have to dry off your steak with some paper towels. After that, you wanna season it generously with salt and pepper. When the pan is hot enough, you just put like two tablespoons of the olive oil and gently put the steak in. You have to hear this sound. When the bottom side is nice and crusted, you gently turn your steak around. You don't want to pierce it or cut the steak because in that case all the juices are going to come out and you really don't want to do that. When it's turned, grill it for like 30 seconds, then add some butter, garlic and thyme in it. You want to coat the steak all the time with melted butter and garlic. To see when the steak is done, you can do the touch test if you know how to do it. Otherwise, you're gonna be looking at the temperature of 135 or 78 degrees Celsius. When the steak is done, take it off the pan and let it rest for another 5 to 8 minutes. Next thing you wanna do, just put it on a nice plate and add some wine with it and you're all set. So there you have it, thank you guys for watching, if you like the video please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can also check my Instagram account and my TikTok page, bye bye.